Good morning. I have a passion to transmit the population evidence on health risks to promote preventive attitudes in people at an individual level. This one is already our sixth installment in the EFE podcast on population health risks. After referring to tobacco, sedentary lifestyle, unsafe sex, high blood pressure, and alcohol, today I would like to talk about drug use, also called illicit drugs or psychoactive substance use. Since the beginning of times, humans have explored and abused different drugs, such as cannabis, amphetamines, opioids, cocaine, and others. Some experts say that, like lemmings, humans are a species that sometimes explore self-destruction as a way of population control. Many drugs create addiction and mimic reward effects in the limbic system of the brains that are superior to food, sex, and even survival. We know a lot about what can be done and needs to be done to help reduce the burden of psychoactive substance abuse. But the figures are appalling. In 2016, it was estimated that 275 million people worldwide used illicit drugs, which translates into an annual prevalence of illicit drug use of almost 6%. Cannabis is the most used illicit drug worldwide, with 192 million users. But there are others. Almost 11 million people inject drugs, of which 1.3 million are living with HIV, 5.5 million with hepatitis C, and 1 million with both HIV and hepatitis C. Drug abuse is particularly harmful in children and adolescents. Initial estimations suggest that globally 14 million people young and in the 15 to 16 years use cannabis in the past year. In our already famous global burden of disease study, the GBD, drug use is ranked 12 in the world list of risk factors for morbidity and mortality. From 1990, to 2017, drug use increased 28% in terms of disability adjusted life years during this period. In men, it was already the 13th cause of morbidity and mortality in the world, and with a trend to increase even more and faster in men than in women. Roughly 585,000 people died as a result of drug use in 2017, according to the GBD. Of those deaths, 168,000 were directly associated with drug use disorders, mainly overdoses. The rest were indirectly attributable to drug use and include deaths related to HIV and hepatitis C through unsafe injective practices. The headline figures for drug users have changed little in recent years, but this stability must be striking ongoing changes in drug markets. Drugs such as heroin and cocaine that have been available for a long time increasingly coexist now with new psychoactive substances, and there has been an increase in the non-medical use of prescription drugs. The range of substances and combinations available to users now has never been wider. There have been record levels of plant-based production reach in the recent years. Afghanistan is the main world producer of opium. Total global opium production jumped by 65% from 2016 to 2017, that is 10,500 tons the highest estimate ever recorded. Au contraire, the largest producer of cocaine is Colombia. Global cocaine manufacture in 2016 reached its highest level ever to an estimated 1,410 tons. Non-medical use of prescription drugs is becoming a major threat around the world. Different pharmaceutical opioids are misused in different regions. 
In North America, illicitly sourced fentanyl mixed with heroin or other drugs is driving the unprecedented number of overdose deaths. In Europe, the main opiate of concern remains heroin, but the non-medical use of methadone, buprenorphine, and fentanyl also has been reported. In Africa, the non-medical use of tramadol, a pharmaceutical opioid that is not under international control, is emerging as a substance of concern. Tramadol is perceived by recreational users as a way of boosting energy and improving mood. Non-medical use of pharmaceutical opioids reaches epidemic proportions in the USA. In 2015 and 2016, for the first time in half a century, life expectancy in the United States of America declined for two consecutive years. A key factor was the increase in unintentional injuries, which includes overdose deaths, mainly fentanyl. Evidence suggests that Canada is also affected. We need to pay special care of the vulnerabilities of particular groups. Many countries still fail to provide adequate drug treatment and health services to reduce the harm caused by drugs. Drug use and the associated harm are highest among young people. Cannabis is a common drug use of choice for young people and an entrance door to other harder drugs of abuse and violent risky behaviors. Two extreme typologies of drug use occur among young people. Clock drops, clock drugs in nightlife settings and in Holland's among street children like glue sniffing. Young people's path to harmful substance use is complex. The path to initiation to the use of substances among young people is influenced by a number of factors, sometimes out of their own control. Protective factors for substance use include caregiver, caregiver involvement and monitoring, health and neurological developing factors like coping skills or good emotional regulation, physical safety and social inclusion, safe neighborhoods, quality school environment, while risk factors include trauma and childhood adversity, like child abuse and neglect, mental health problems, poverty, peer substance use and drug availability, negative school climate, or sensation seeking. Overall, poverty and a lack of opportunities for social and economic advancement can lead young people to become involved in the drug supply chain. The elderly are also an often neglected group. Drug use among older people requires attention. Increase in rates of drug use among older people are partly explained by aging cohorts of drug users. Women's drug use differs greatly from men's. Non-medical use of tranquilizers and opioids is common. The phenomenon of telescoping is often using women. More men than women initiate drug use, but after initiation, women move faster than men towards drug use disorders. Women who have experienced childhood adversity, internalized behaviors, and may use drugs to self-medicate. Women are at a higher risk for infectious diseases than men. Finally, prisoners, in particular women, are at a higher risk for infectious diseases and are poorly served. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development of the United Nations and its goals affirm that there can be no sustainable development without peace and no peace without sustainable development. Preventing drug use and the adverse health consequences of drug use among young people requires a culture of understanding underpinned by scientific research. The coexistence of illicit drug market of established drugs that should be with prescription only, 
and a growing stream of substances of unclear origin that are sold as medicines but are destined for non-medical use together with polydrug use, polydrug trafficking and the darknet as a marketplace for drugs is adding unprecedented levels of complexity to the drug problem. Think of yourself, yours, others, and the planet. Cannabis is harmful and is often the entrance gate to harder drugs and risky behaviors. Talk to your children and youngsters. Prescription drugs are not recreational drugs. Finally, cocaine, heroin, and amphetamines are like playing the Russian roulette with your health. Praise with the example. Good information on time is essential. Remember, prevention is life. Thank you.